Do you have a voting or poll option in one of your forms? Did you know that you can allow your users to see the results once they've submitted theirs? Let me show you how. Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm. I'm Kimberly and I am in a very simple form. I'm basically asking their name and then a yes or no question. But let me show you how to let the people who vote see the overall results once they have cast their vote. So how we're going to do this is we are going to use visual reports. So like I said, I'm in my form, but up at the top where it says form builder, I'm going to choose this and then I'm going to choose report builder. Now I have already edited this to make this look exactly how I want this to look for my users. But when you come to this page over on the right hand side over here, you're going to have multiple slides. I didn't really need an intro slide or any other. So I just removed them and I only have the pie chart available. So from here, this is what I want my users to see once they have submitted their option. So I'm going to go up here to the top. I'm going to choose publish. Then from here, you want to make sure that the link to access report is on public report. It's going to automatically be private. So make sure that you change it to public report because you want them to be able to see it. We'll go back and we will copy this link. Perfect. Now let's head back over to our form builder. Now I'm going to go up to settings and then we're going to go to the thank you page over here on the left. From here, all we have to do is edit our thank you page. So right here it says, thank you, your submission has been received. I'm gonna put view the results of the poll here. And then we can double click on this. We can insert a link. We're gonna paste that visual report link here and click okay. Perfect. So let's go up here to publish and let's give this a test. We'll say Kelly is going to vote yes. We'll click submit. All right, let's view our poll results here. And in real time, we can see the percent and the number of people who have voted and which one they voted for. And it's as simple as that. I hope this helped you have any questions about how to show your users the poll results once they have completed their own voting process. Let us know and I'll see you next time.